Chris says, hi, everyone. Is there any way to audit a OneDrive's folder or file? I mean, if there is any way to know who writes, reads, shares any activity on folder or file. There sure is. Uh, so the way I'm familiar with it is you need like administrator level access to go into the Office 365 admin center. And I think it's compliance or purview. I don't know what the name of it is now, but there's something called the audit log if it's turned on within your tenant. And that gives you very granular actions that we're taking inside of the OneDrive or a file or or whatnot. But this is very privileged access in most organizations. The the information that comes out of the audit log, it like it's scary. You see everything. You opened an email, you deleted a file, you shared this, you did that. Like it's it's not meant for organization-wide consumption. So if it's important to do an audit, you'd probably be involving like your SecOps, your IT people, and they would facilitate those types of requests. I don't I know if there's any like- turn on. You'd have to turn on all the user detail as well and make sure that it was, the identity information was available in the tenant in the first place. And just even flicking that button to give you all the identity and having it come through from Azure. Uh, to, get into, get it in, to get it into the user reports, then yep. you've got to be careful, yeah. Yeah, it's like a tape recorder. You have to turn it on and then mm. you can turn it off. Mm. But until it's turned on, it doesn't start recording anything. So that's the one that you can't necessarily go retroactively back and say, well, what has everybody right, done? Right. This person done in the last 60 days if it wasn't already recording that time frame. And you, you have to also be careful with the granularity of because it's, it's a big button that's on or off and a lot of things get turned on. Uh, so if an organization, so a lot of times when organizations turn that off is because there are aspects of what's collected in that giant button, they do not want tracked at, at, at that mm -hmm. lower level at the very least. And that's, that's why, I mean, some of the issues that you have with like Viva Insights of why it anonymizes data for smaller than 10 people on a team um, before providing insights into an org. That's why a lot of when when Viva Insights, I know this isn't a Viva Insights question, but I'm just using this as an example, but why a lot of uh, um, a, a lot of security minded organizations around the world kind of just like, well, whoa, 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 wait a second on some of what Insights was tracking and, and capturing around that. And the, the the fear was, well, then it could be used against individuals, you know, data about what they're actually doing on a day to day. And mm -hmm. And Microsoft is very careful to say it's like, no, hey, there are we have safeguards in place around that and anonymizes data and things like that. So uh, anyway, looking at again before you it's not just about asking for the access to this data, but it's also what other data does that enable by turning that capability on. So definitely a conversation with your admin and with the security team. And it can be a resource hog. You got to be careful because it can it can do a lot of issues. And here's my yeah. recovering HR professional hat. Is it one person that you're trying yeah. to, you know, who's, that you're trying to figure out what they're doing? Um, if that's, if they're, and it's, it's on or off. It's not, I don't, and I'm asking, this is the people that might know, can you turn that on for just one person or no, a group of people? So. It's, it's tenant. for every it's tenant. Group, no. right? Yeah, it's okay. tenant. Yeah. yeah. Every organization I've been in or worked with, auditing's always been on. Has that not been your experience either? I've seen it both ways. I, yeah, I, I was going to say that in a more joking manner, but uh, <laughs> I've seen it both ways. Uh, no, uh, but no, it is. I've I've ha I've been in orgs that have turned that off for it was there's like a bunch of issues. So in the meantime, we're going to turn it off. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, and some things they don't want to be tracked because it's all e-discoverable and there's certain industries that they don't want all those things tracked because yeah. now they're held liable for those if they are discoverable. Especially with GDPR yes. and the fines <clears throat> that go on around that now. I mean, it technically should be on, but then what's the process around it and being really careful of that data because, um, and I always start to, you know, ask when they go, I want to order, to, you know, OneDrive. It's like a OneDrive. Is it everyone's OneDrive? Why are you wanting to do that? What kind of forensic, you know, discovery? Is it the, you know, police are wanting to pull records? What? Why? Right. <laughs> I have more well, questions as always. And even if, gonna... if your even if your dev team, your IT team built a solution where it only limited what data you would view out of that audit report and provided some kind of solution, just the fact that that data is being captured and someone has access to it could be an issue. 
as well. Sorry, Joy, to interrupt you. No problem. I was I hesitate to even throw this out there because the amount of data is so minuscule. It's the opposite end of the spectrum for what auditing will do. You can see a teeny tiny fraction of OneDrive activity in the admin center under usage. You can drill down to OneDrive. Is it amazing information? No. Is it something that might be better than nothing? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But there's something there you might start there in in the sharepoint document library you you can see the activity around a file mm -hmm. a folder document does, does that experience carry over into onedrive does anyone know the the onedrive online experience it wouldn't be the onedrive file Version yes. it, it shows you like yes first you shared a file yes yeah yeah right. yeah you yeah. do so, you have all that version history onedrive and sharepoint both the same very no high different. level yeah. Yeah. So, so person can audit their mean. own stuff, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Well, spoiler alert: OneDrive is SharePoint. Just yep, personal. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> sure. Like, I know. I know. I know. The, the amount of times I've had to explain the the personal to sites, you know, it's just like yeah. there's just two different words there. Keep an eye out. Doesn't mean it's the my SharePoint. It's the back. <laughs> yeah. So everyone kind of gets confused, thinking they've received a SharePoint. Like, no, no, no. If it says my, tell them to get it out of their OneDrive and put it over into SharePoint. <laughs> Anyway, exactly. that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> whole to have, nother topic. I need to have on a button. I just need it to pop up in the videos when we do live streams as the dramatic chipmunk. You know, dun, <laughs> dun, dun. dun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love that. Love that gif. Thank you.